Hello guys, this video is an introductory video on the US NC or US National Chemistry Olympiad competition. So what is the US National Chemistry Olympiad? It is the premier chemistry competition in the US and around 17,000 students take the local exam each year and a thousand of them advance to nationals. So the open exam or the local exam is a 60 question exam done in 110 minutes, although this may change depending on your school. So the local exam mostly covers content from AP chemistry, but with a slightly elevated in difficulty. So what this question over here, we all know what titrations are, right? Nothing out of, new out of the book, but the local exam or the USNCO competition gives you these situations and scenarios to analyze and apply those concepts. And there'll be difficult calculation questions involved also. The local, the local exam also covers basic organic chemistry, bonding theories, and descriptive chemistry. What I mean by descriptive chemistry is that you have to, pre is that you have to know various properties of certain compounds like the color of an ion in a flame test or solution. So to qualify for nationals, you need to be top two in your school and pass the cutoff of your local section. And what I mean by local section is that it's a, it's a group of schools in a geographic area. And each group of schools has a different cutoff number depending on what how the students achieve. So in order to make nationals, you need to satisfy the two criteria of being top two in your school and passing the local section cutoff. The national exam is much harder than the local exam and is divided into three parts. Multiple choice, FRQs, which is theory and problem solving based, and the lab section, where we divide an own procedure to solve the prompt they give us. And there's an implication of the national exam because it gets harder and harder every year which I'll talk about in the next few slides. So the awards is that if you're a top 150, you get honors. If you're a top 50 of those who take the national exam, you're I honors. And if you're a top 20, you get camp. And the top four from camp represent USA for the International Chemistry Olympiad. So it is really important to solidify your general chemistry concepts. You can do this to books called Atkins and Zumdahl. Atkins is the more advanced version, but you can use Zumdahl if you're just getting introduced to chemistry. It's important that you master either of these books because the U.S. National Chemistry Olympiad gets harder and harder every year and has new and weird questions. So just because you succeed in the exam last year doesn't mean you'll succeed as well next year. So it's important to, to solve a lot of problems in each of these books and understand the general concepts. I advise that strongly enough. Organic Chem covers a good portion of the exam, around 15 to 20%. So you can use two books to choose from, Klein or Clayton. Klein's Organic Chemistry is a good book if you're just, just getting started to delve in the subject. But if you're aiming for camp or beyond, you can use Clayton. USNC also covers various bonding theories, principles, and exceptions. So you can also read an inorganic chemistry book. You can skim it. So Miser Inorganic Chemistry is a good choice if you want to delve in there. Thank you.